Well, now to developing news in South Jordan. Police are investigating a potential school threat coming from social media. The Post lists a goal to kill 20 kids and 10 staff members tomorrow on March 14th. New specialist Debbie Worthen is live at Bingham High School where the Post started circulating today. Debbie, you talked to one student who called police. How concerned is she? Yes, I talked to Emily Johnson and her dad tonight. Emily is a senior here at Bingham. Now, she says the post seems fake and it only targets BHS, but it was still enough for her to report it. And she and her dad both say it's still really scary. Even if there's a 1% chance that it's real, I am not going to school. I'm still scared of that 1% chance. Now, this is the post. Emily says it's blurry and it doesn't seem specific to Bingham. And she says it looks like it's coming from an account in Washington. But in blurry handwriting, it reads, goal, 20 kids, 10 staff with an AR-15 handgun. Then I will shoot myself. Well, it's enough for police to be investigating. And parents at Bingham say the school made them aware of it, too. And I got the text saying, look at your... Email, dear parents, Bingham High School and South Jordan Police are aware of a social media post circulating online. The school administration is currently working with police to identify the source and validity of the post. Now, the district has not returned our calls to confirm that email did go out to parents. However, South Jordan Police tell us tonight they are investigating and they are working with Meta to try to track down more information. So we have that information tonight. We don't know if it's real. At least one student and parent are pretty concerned about it. Back to you. Yeah, these are always concerning for any kind of chance that it poses. Debbie, yep. thanks. Again, we don't know if that threat that mentions VHS is credible or a hoax, but it comes just hours after Governor Cox signed a law to crack down on people who falsely report school shootings. There were several of those types of threats last year at Utah schools. It was a horrible deal, and it, we just can't tolerate that. we got to do anything we can to to control the, the narrative on school threats. I hope it make people think twice before they, um, you know, do something like that. Under the new law, those who make false threats will face felony charges. And if a student does it, they will be suspended or expelled.